Hello friends, in this video tutorial, let us see how to get data in our SSS tubular model from Power Pivot. So for the purpose of this tutorial, let us go to our Excel in which we have a blank workbook. Let's go to Power Pivot. First of all, let's save this. So let's save it in Acorn. Let's give it the name of Internet Sales Power Pivot, right? Because we want to get data from our Internet Sales Database in this particular Power Pivot. So let's go to Manage. Let's go to let's get data from SQL Server. Now let's copy the connection string. So name of the server is given. Now let's get data from our internet sales database. Next, next. Let's select internet sales fact table and its related tables. Now I don't want currency. I don't want promotion. Don't want sales territory. Okay, so let other tables remain as it is. Let's say finish. So we can see it is importing four tables into Power Pivot. So now the import is complete and we can see the data of all these four tables in our Power Pivot. Right. So let's save everything. Correct. Let's close it. Let's go to our folder. So the we can see the size of the Excel file. It, so it shows that a lot of data is present. Let's enable the, let's open it. Let's go to Power Pivot. Let's go to Manage. Let's, let us introduce a measure, right? So total sales will be a measure equals to sum of internet sales sales amount enter so we can see that we have added a measure over here let's save everything let's save the excel sheet let's close it so before go closing it we can understand that now we have got this four tables data over here and in Power Pivot and in Power Pivot we have introduced a measure called total sales, right? So we have and we can see this data in our relationship diagram view also. Okay. So all these four tables are related. Internet sales is the fact table and it is related to these three dimension tables. Okay. So now let me close everything. Let me close the Power Pivot and the Excel sheet, right? So the data is lying in this Power Pivot Excel sheet, right? Now let's go to our visual studio let's create a new project let's create the project and give it a name of tubular 2 right and this time let us select this option that is import from power pivot so let's click ok so it will ask us that where do we want the workspace server to be? So workspace server will be over here. Now this is a SQL server 2014 instance, but a tubular instance. I have created SQL server 2014 tubular instance. So let us connect to our analysis services 2014 tubular instance. Its name is SSAS 2014 T. Okay. So let us call that as our workspace server so connection is okay now it is asking us which is the power pivot that you want to open so let us provide it the path of the power pivot file that we have just created so now we can see that it is it is now creating the tubular project for us so now the tubular project is created model or bm file is now having all the data of the four tables along with the total sales right so we can save it we can go to the properties we can see the options for the properties right 
so let us click ok now right now in this instance there is only one database and this is a temporary database for the workspace right so we don't have anything called tabular project 2 database right now it's it's having is the this is the temporary one so let us go and deploy it so that we get the permanent deployment for tabular project 2 so let's deploy So you can see that the deployment is complete, right? So let's close, let's go to our database, let's refresh. So now this is the permanent one. Okay, this deployment is permanent and this is temporary. Once we close SSDT, this will no longer be available. But this is permanent deployment and it will be available. So let's go to browse and see whether we have got our data or not. So we can see in internet sales, we have got total sales, right? And we can see the total sales by let's say gender and let's say marital status, right? So we are able to get the data, correct? So now let us go, let us say that we want to make some modifications in the in this model, right? Through our SSDT. So we can do that. Let us say that we want to introduce another. another measure so let's say we want to introduce a measure for average for internet sales and in the internet sales we want for sales amount correct so enter so this is the average sales amount let's save everything let's this is now we have added a average sales measure inside our SSDT. Okay, so if we go in this deploy this solution, then our new measure will be available in our this database. But if to verify that whether everything is coming from SSDT only, let us delete this. Okay, so let us delete this and let us recreate this database. Okay. In production environment you will never do this but over here just for verifying whether things are coming from ssdt or not only for that purpose we have deleted the database so, and we will do a redeployment of the database with this new average sales right so let's deploy it again so things have been deployed so let's go to our databases again and this time this database will contain two measures so let's go to browse and now we can see that our, along with total sales average sales is also present right so we can see that and let's see the data as per gender let's say and as per marital status right so in this way we can import the data in ssdt from power pivot and deploy it on the tabular instance as well as we can make changes in our model inside ssdt and we can introduce changes and we can deploy the changes to the tabular instance right so i hope friends this video tutorial on how to import data from power pivot into ssdt and from there how to deploy it on our SQL Server tabular instance is useful to you. Thank you.